The baby to face felony battery charge over alleged music video attack. Uh oh. Rapper also faces lawsuit stemming from an incident where he allegedly sucker punched a rental property owner. <laughs> what the the baby? Come on, man. Last week he was punched people. So this is back from what 2020 or 2021. I don't remember this. I haven't been following all the baby's incidences, but now that we're in it, the baby is like. I, I'm with it now. Okay, let me. Uh. <clears throat> the baby has been charged with felony battery stemming from a December 2020 incident where the rapper allegedly sucker punched a rental property owner in Los Angeles. In February 2021, two months after the incident was reported to police, Gary Pegger filed a lawsuit against the baby real name Jonathan Kirk, and his associates claiming that Kirk punched him after Pager complained that the rapper had violated the terms of their lease agreement. At the time of the incident, the baby was reportedly shooting a music video with over 40 people in the home, despite agreeing not to allow more than nine people in the house due to COVID-19 protocols. Here we go, more COVID-19 protocols. What you can have in your house, even. Uh, they signed a lease... And personally assured Mr. Pager they'd adhere to it. They promised there'd be no crowds, no parties, no filming. Those were bald-faced lies. <laughs> the lawsuit previously obtained by Rolling Stone stated. In fact... The purpose of defendant's trip to Los Angeles was to gather 40 people and a commercial film crew at Mr. Pager's house to film a music video. When Mr. Pager asked them to stop, they beat and battered him. <laughs> Can you imagine being the owner of a house and being like, uh, baby, you promised me that you weren't going to do this. Um, Mr. DeBaby, sir, um, you, you did sign a lease agreement saying that you wouldn't gather more than nine people and there would be no cameras or no video. Oh, God, please, please, oh, Lord, oh, God, oh, God. I'm sorry, but that's funny. That is some real shit right there. That is some hood shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man, that, that... I love that shit. I mean, I wouldn't want it to happen to me. And I don't love it when it's happening to me. But it's always funny when it happens to other people. I know it's not funny that people got hurt. Violence is not the way. But it's just... It's so absurd, right? It's so absurd to just... Because it's so absurd that you sign a lease agreement with somebody. And you said, okay, I'm not going to do this. And then whoop their ass for confronting you. I always remember, like... There's this like really quick part in the Chappelle show where where Chappelle is um he's dreaming and it's of it's of um it's of Arsenio Hall enjoy he's like I wonder what Arsenio Hall is doing right now. He's probably enjoying cheese, like really good cheese or something, and he's like, Oh, this is some good cheese. And then, and then fucking he's like and then it's so good the cheese is so good that he's mad at the at the people f because they didn't tell him how good this cheese was and he's like how come you didn't tell me how good this cheese was and then he fucking just starts punching you know the owner and how, like that's what i that's that's like that's how i see it like the pinnacle of ignorance is just no i won't do this fuck you i did it anyway <laughs> I guess it's not the pinnacle of ignorance. There is much more ignorant shit that can go on. But I just find that hilarious to me. That is just very funny. And uh, for whatever reason, I just see Arsenio Hall punching people because the cheese was so good that, that they didn't tell him how good the cheese was. Why the fuck didn't you tell me how good the cheese was? <sighs> God, I love Chappelle Joe. Uh, when Mr. Pager asked them to stop, they beat and battered him, stole his phone by force so he couldn't call the police, and threatened him. Then they vandalized his house and left after stealing various valuable items. Defendant's behavior was utterly despicable. Agreed. 
Agreed. That is despicable shit right there. <laughs> Nearly 16 months after the alleged assault, the criminal case remained pending against the rapper. However, TMZ reported Saturday and Los Angeles County court documents confirmed that Kirk will face felony battery charges stemming from the incident during which Pager said his tooth was knocked out among other injuries. Jesus Christ. Additionally, one of Kirk's associates, thank God, a woot, okay, faces a felony charge of theft using force. WCNC Charlotte also confirmed that an arrest warrant had been issued for both Kurt and Awoot for willfully and unlawfully using force and violence in the incident. My type of fantasy comedy, right? 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 Oh, Jesus, sorry. Just a wake-up call, everybody. Just a wake-up call. Uh, representatives of the, representatives and lawyers for the baby and La, the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office did not respond to Rolling Stone's request for comment at press time. Uh, news of charges against Kirk comes just days after Rolling Stone revealed surveillance footage that undercut the rapper's claim that he shot and killed somebody in self-defense at Walmart. In North Carolina, although the baby appears to be the initial aggressor in the never before seen security footage, he was never charged in the incident. 11 weeks later, he signed a contract with Interscope. What that came out? How the fuck did we miss this? Come on, let's go! Let's go! Let's just see this video. Fuck Rolling Stone in this long ass thing. Z, a woot was a boot. His business. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good, Z. Welcome in, buddy. Uh, yeah, let's get past this. Let's just get to the goods. Where's the goods? We want to see the video. We don't care about this shit. This is very long. Where's the video? Where's the fucking video? We gotta find the video. We must find the video. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, the baby, oh, the baby surveillance Walmart video. Okay, baby, wait a second. All right, guys, if you don't like this kind of shit, you might you might not want to watch, but just... The baby's claim of self-defense when he shot and killed Jalen Craig in a Walmart in 2018 is now being called into question. Rolling Stone just released never-before-seen security footage of the fatal November 2018 incident. The baby has always claimed that he was approached by two men who threatened him with a gun while he was shopping with his then-partner and their children. The new footage, however, appears to show the baby throwing the first punch. The man who was punched, Henry Douglas, told police a scuffle broke out after the baby oh, punched him he said his best friend Jalen craig was the one who tried to break up the fight when the baby pulled out his gun and shot him the baby was never prosecuted for craig's death his family is now hoping for an independent investigation into the case and the baby to be prosecuted just days ago the baby real name jonathan kirk was involved in a fight with his artist wisdom on april 13th the masterpiece rapper also admitted to non-fatally shooting a trespasser on his property Following the release of security footage by Rolling Stone, the baby posted this on social media. What more do you want from me? <laughs> For Bollywood.com, I'm Jasmine. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, the baby. Shut the fuck up. How are you going to cry on your social? Come on. Where where is this shit at? Where is this the baby? Hold on. What the fuck? The baby is so outrageous. Hold on. I love the baby so much. I love him. Hold on. Come on now. This has got me fucking hype as fuck. Where where is this shit? Oh, here's the footage. Like a bad person, we have. Oh shit! Hold on. This was loud. Lying to TMZ and LAPD, not knowing that he's caught on camera. Look at what somebody sent me. Y'all keep believing these Hollywood hustlers. Not to mention, he spit in the Bobby's face. In the Bobby's face. 
<gasps> oh, okay. Enough of that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so maybe uh, Mr. Prager needed an ass whooping. I mean, let's not forget... Let's not forget what the original article was about. But we do need to see why the baby was crying about him shooting somebody fucking at Walmart. Uh, did he take it down? What more do you want from me? Wow, that was fucked up. So look, this shit was out years ago. Look at this. This is from two years ago. This is from three years ago. Let's just see what's up. Check this out. So the baby shot and killed a man at a North Carolina Walmart in November 2018, as Dave Chappelle reminded audiences during his Netflix special, The Closer, last That's year. That's how I even knew. The but. LBGTQ community doesn't know the baby's history. He's a wild guy. He once shot a <laughs> and killed him in Walmart. Oh, this is true. Google it. The baby shot and killed a in Walmart. I Googled it. In North I Googled it. Nothing bad happened to his career. <laughs> DMCA right here, son. Do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> you can sh feelings. He acted in self-defense, but doubt was cast on that narrative on Sunday, April 24th, when a never-before-seen video of the deadly scuffle surfaced online. Their surveillance footage shows the baby throwing the first punch at Craig's friend, Henry Douglas. Craig can be seen pulling out a gun from his waistband, but appears to begin to tuck it back in before attempting to break up the fight between Douglas and the baby. The footage then cuts to a fellow shopper becoming startled and running away, presumably as the fatal gunshot was fired, as the baby reappears in frame holding a Glock. As the footage circulated online, dramatically changing the perception of the almost four-year-old incident, the baby took the social media late Sunday to address the matter. According to the 30-year-old rapper, this is just the latest attempt to assassinate his character. The dudes praying on me can't F with the people praying for me, he tweeted. The baby later posted a clip of Tyrese's viral crying video amid oh. his 2017 custody battle in which he bemoans, man, $13,000 a month with more I didn't want think that was me. Oh my God. No. I didn't think that was, I didn't think that was the baby. I was like, that don't look like the baby, but I had to find it. Okay. So he just followed, he just put up Tyrese. Oh, poor Tyrese. What more do they, do they want from him? No disrespect to my boy Tyrese, man. But what y'all dudes got going on, bruh? What more do you want from me? Somebody behind the scenes on my ass, ain't it? In a follow-up Instagram story, the baby continued to fight back against the footage while claiming he's been robbed of $30 million. Like, damn, bruh, dudes done took $30 million from me, lie on me once a week, want my fine ass baby mamas to hate me, want me to lose fights I don't start, what more do you want from me? <laughs> the baby isn't the only one who believes the video leak was a targeted attack. Hot 97's Funkmaster Flex echoed the rapper's sentiment by offering a similar theory in his Instagram comment section. You sell records and your stage show cranking. You put on for your artists. Some people, music insiders, was getting threatened. Threatened. Hashtag just my opinion. The baby has previously addressed the Walmart shooting on numerous occasions. On his 2020 hit Rockstar, he bragged, My daughter a G, she saw me kill a dude in front of her before the age of two. My daughter a G, she saw me kill a in front of her before the age of two. While on No Tears, which was released just days after Craig's death, he rapped, And any dude touch me, catch a body like Boosie. Try me, I'm shooting, no back and forth, just up it, I'm blowing. And any touch me, catch a body like Boosie. Try me, I'm shoot, no back and forth, just up and I'm blowing. The baby doubled down on his self-defense claim on Instagram Live shortly after the shooting, saying, daughter could have got hit. Someone could have got hit. Me. Lord, is telling me not to say nothing and all that But fuck all that. <laughs> but fuck all that. <laughs> Listen, lawyers told me not to say nothing. Fuck all that. <laughs> Look, I mean, he's off. He got off. Your whole motherfucking family threatening y'all, whip out on y'all. Yeah, let me see what y'all gonna do. However, Douglas and Craig's family claim the altercation started when the baby became annoyed that the teenagers had recognized him and he demanded they take things outside for a fight. The case over Craig's death was closed in June 2019, resulting in the baby being convicted of carrying a concealed weapon and sentenced to 12 months probation with a suspended jail sentence. I feel like the police just swept it up under the rug. Craig's mother, Lawanda Horsley, told Rolling Stone, who obtained the footage, the baby knows what he did. I'm not doing this for no fame or anything because at the end of the day, Jalen Craig is gone. So what do you think about this clip in Walmart that surfaced online? Do you think it shows anything different? Do you still think the baby was doing self-defense? Let us know your thoughts. That's fucking crazy. 
That's fucking crazy. Wow. Anyways, back to the original article we were reading. Not that one. Okay, so this is the article right here, guys. Uh, if you guys want to read it over, I'll put it in here. I kind of want to read this. And I'll put it with the firewall blocker. Or um, the paywall blocker in it, too. So y'all can get right to it. And you guys can read it. We're not going to read through this. When did this come out? This is the 24th. So this was just like, oh, like a week ago. So... Whoo, this is fucking crazy, bro. This is crazy. Anyways. Hell yeah, 12 foot. Fuck yeah, this is tight. Uh, okay, so back to this. So he is... So here comes this video coming out. Maybe this is a... Uh, maybe this is people trying to get at the baby. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Michael Jackson claimed that the music industry was trying to take him down because he was getting too powerful and, and there were some racist um, connotations behind it, behind the takedown of his uh, entanglements with children. So who knows? Who knows? Uh, but l let's uh, let let's get into this. Uh, let's keep this article going here. Uh, news of the charges against Kirk came days after Rolling Stone revealed surveillance footage that undercut the bait rapper's clap that he shot and killed someone in self-defense at a Walmart in North Carolina. See, they've had this footage for a long time. And it does just seem like they did get swept up under the rug. And maybe he did. You know, like I, I, you couldn't really tell from the footage whether or not. Uh, it was self-defense, but if the baby did throw the first punches, then that's definitely some shit right there. I mean, maybe maybe that dude's friend, they, they even said in that video we just watched that he had, um, that he had, um, he, he, the, the other guy had his hand on his waistband about to pull out a gun and then put it away. And then maybe the baby saw that gun and was like, oh, hell no, my family's here. I, I, I'm not fucking around. I'm just going to shoot these motherfuckers and, and call it a day. You know, that's just, that might be how it went down. And I, I mean, if, if I was in that position, maybe I'd be the same way. As soon as I see a gun, it's like, oh, okay, fuck this. This is how it's going down. I guess it's time to shoot people now. So, ugh, that's horrible. It's terrible to think about even. 11 weeks well, yeah 11 weeks after the murder he was signed interscope records as a part of the report pager who was 64 at the time of the alleged attack spoke to rolling stone about his own lawsuit against the rapper there are people who believe that the rules do not apply to them pager told rolling stone whatever the rules are whether it's the law that uh, that they can do what they want with impunity and there is no consequences that's who Kirk, that's who Kirk was pager added he wants to have this man pay for his behavior and hopefully teach him a lesson that the rules actually do apply to him a lawyer for pager did not immediately respond to rolling stone's request uh, for comment regarding the criminal charges in the case according to the los angeles county court database kirk will have a preliminary hearing in the connection to the charges on june 1st at the clara short ridge Fultz criminal justice center the charges in the litany of legal issues facing the controversial rapper, as he also the plaintiff in another lawsuit, as he's also the plaintiff in another lawsuit filed by the alleged victim in the bowling alley brawl, Jesus Christ, which was followed by an unrelated, non-lethal shooting at the rapper's North uh, North Carolina home. He also gained infamy last year from his misogyny, homophobic, and ill-informed comments at Rolling Loud Miami in July that cost him several major, major festival slots in the backlash. However, he has scheduled to perform Friday night at the Beale Street Music Festival. <sighs> yeah, Z, 50 Cent got shot and got signed. He wasn't shooting people. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was though. Maybe he was shooting people. Who knows? Uh, but there was a Fifty Cent article that I wanted to read here because it's kind of funny, and we'll make that our last article too. So, anyways, 
fuck, dude. We'll be following this story and um, and we'll see where it goes. I, I had no idea that Rolling Stone just released that footage. I didn't know that they did all this. Um, it does seem that the Pager or Prager guy who owned the property was yelling racial epitaphs at the at, at the at, at the baby and his cohorts. Um, you know that that's no reason for violence to break out, but you know you can't just yell a uh, you can't just yell the n word at a bunch of hood ass dudes. The, that are fucking probably drunk already, fucked up filming music videos and shit. So, look, I'm not saying what he did was right. I'm just saying you don't provoke these kind of folks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I yeah, I, I just you, you don't. You don't provoke. I, <laughs> I've known enough hood ass dudes in my life to know that, and provoked hood ass dudes in my lifetime to know that you don't fucking open your mouth in those situations. You just, you just don't. He could have easily, and I don't say this lightly or encourage him, but yeah, he could have just called the police and had them handle it. He didn't have to go in there and start yelling the N word and trying to get people to do what he wanted. Not again, not defending the baby, but you also don't provoke you don't provoke that kind of shit, especially by yelling horrible <sighs> racial slurs at a bunch of people. So, um, okay. So where is my, uh, where is that? Hold on. I gotta, Gosh. did I put it up here? No. All right. We'll be following this story as it